Welcome to the video of Word. Torah tells us in this week's Sedra, Lo signovu, thou shalt not steal. And the Torah says in the Aseris Adibros, Lo signo, thou shalt not steal. However, in the Ten Commandments, it is written in the singular form, signov. And here in our parashat, it is written in the plural form, signovu. What is the difference? Rashi says, Lo signov in the Aseris Adibros is talking about kidnapping, Gnevas Nefesh. Here, we're talking about Gnevas Mamon. The different constructions are to hint to us these are two entirely different prohibitions. Okay, so says Rashi. The Ibn Ezra suggests a broader expansion. Lo Signovu has two audiences, uh, a, a, a multiple audiences for this prohibition. Number one, the person who is actively doing the stealing, shalt not, thou shalt not steal. But for anyone else who is aiding, abetting, facilitating, enabling, the uh, perpetrator to do the uh, to do the uh, the robbery that too has liability. It's not just the person who's actually doing the stealing, but even anybody who's enabling it. And I could justify, I could rationalize to myself. I just held the door for the guy. I, I didn't actually do it. I just didn't prevent him. Says the Torah lo signovu. He's liable, and so are we. The Archaim HaKadosh looks at the juxtaposition of Psukim for a hint, for an explanation. And he notices that just prior to the prohibition of Lo Signovu, we learn about the mitzvah of Peya. And that is, uh, in Eretz Yisrael, a person who has a field, is, uh, uh, that tills their field, must leave a corner of the field, Peya, a corner of the field, over, to leave it over for the Aniyam, for the poor people to sustain themselves. And I could justify to myself, rationalize, you know what, that, that corner of the field really belongs to me. I am being very magnanimous and giving it to the poor people, but it's really mine. I planted it, I tilled it, I did everything. Says the Torah, no, it belongs to the Aniyam, it does not belong to you. Lo signovu, not just something that, uh, that, that, uh, uh, that, that clearly belongs to me, but even something that in a more gray area, like Peya, lo signovu, should realize, no, it doesn't belong to me and I may not take it. Finally, Rav Hersha offers an even more expansive view. And that is Lo Signovu based on the teaching of Ben Bagbag. If a person steals from me, and then I, in turn, steal it back from them. Says the Pasuk Lo Signovu, I should not steal it back. But it belongs to me, it's mine. No, says Ben Bagbag, because Nira Kigoni, it looks like I'm stealing. It is not sufficient for me not just to steal, not just to lead an honorable life in practice, but even in perception. I can't even do something that looks like I'm stealing. Lo signovu, even if it's mine, get it back another way. Lo signov, important. Lo signovu, maybe even more so. Good job.